Well, brushing your teeth can sometimes seem trivial, but experts say oral care is much more than that. Today, we are diving deeper into dental health with Dr. Malik Johnson, who is right here with us this afternoon. He's a dentist at Grandover Village Dental Care. So go ahead and send in your questions to 336-379-5775, and we'll be sure to answer them live on air. Dr. Johnson, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Hello. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go ahead and start with the basics. How often should folks be brushing? So yeah, the basics, very vanilla. So folks should brush two times a day, um, morning and night for about two minutes every time. Uh, I feel like the key is in those two things, right? Brushing in morning and also at night because all day, you know, all this eating, all this talking, all this drinking, all these things mm -hmm. that we're doing. If we're not cleaning our teeth, teeth when we go to lay down, that stuff just sits on our teeth and it does what it does. It starts to eat away at enamel and cause cavities and things like that. So morning and night, my uh, saying is brush in the morning to keep your friends and brush at night to keep your teeth. Nice. So nice. stick with that in two minutes because a lot of times we're just brushing for about 20 seconds. So making sure we get those two minutes, that quality time. Should you be brushing at the exact same time in the morning and then the exact same time that you do it at night? Or it's, it's as long as you do it sometime during the morning and then sometime during the night? Like, should people have a specific time? Yeah, um, definitely doesn't matter exact same time. It's good to get in certain habits, which, you know, typically we live day by day. We kind of do things around the same time generally. But um, it's just important to definitely after we're done eating and stuff like that at night to brush and then in the morning. Um, when you wake up before you start talking and being in people's faces, it's a good idea to go ahead and brush it in too. Let's talk about flossing. There's a lot of different techniques out there when it comes to flossing. What's right? What's wrong? <laughs> well, technique wise, um, we're not too specific, but you definitely want to get in there between the teeth and you want to try to hit both sides of that little, little piece of gum that's between the teeth. So kind of go next to both teeth. Um, and it's important to do, I like to recommend people to floss after they brush. So whatever smaller, you know, fine things that you miss when brushing, you can get it with the floss. And it's important because we see a lot of cavities that actually are in between teeth. So a lot of times teeth that kind of share a cavity right where they touch. So that's when flossing comes in handy. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different floss kind of out there. There's specific kinds that people should lean towards to more specifically, too, if you might have braces of, of some sort. Mm -hmm. There's the floss, there's the threaders that people can thread in between the braces. That's a little tedious, kind of a little annoying. So um, we also recommend water picks. Um, they're like little handheld things with a little spout on them mm -hmm. and it shoots the water out to actually clean in between things like braces. You can use it if you don't have braces too, um, but that's something that's a little more user friendly when talking about braces or just different appliances kind of in our mouths. Um, but there's all sorts of floss, like you said. I like the little ones that are like a little pick because it's just easier to mm -hmm. use. The <laughs> um, they have little Christmas tree shaped flosses, flossers. Those are pretty good. Mint floss, whatever kind of floss you use, just get some, you know? Nice, nice. Let's move into mouthwash. What is your recommendation? And, we, and Dr. Johnson, can you hear me? I'm back, yes. Okay. Um, let's talk about mouthwash. So mouthwash, there's also a whole plethora of mouthwashes to use as well. Um, so come see your dentist, right? So we can look, look at you and kind of recommend certain things. There's mouthwashes for sensitivity. There's mouthwashes that give you um, extra fluoride. There's mouthwashes that um, can do a combination of the two. So come see us. Um, we can kind of recommend such and such. Uh, but there's a plethora of products to use, so it's kind of like, you know, where did we start? Come see us get an exam so we can kind of help guide you. And, and let's talk moving with more in terms of mouthwash, kind of when you should and things of that nature after, before you brush, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like um, different people say different things as far as like your dentist recommending. Me personally, I like to tell people to wash, I mean, to use mouthwash in the beginning, right? Before... I brush and before I floss. The reason is, is I like to use that mouthwash to get any kind of bigger, bulkier things that are stuck between your teeth out first, and then you brush. Um, and that way you're not rinsing at the end and washing off all the toothpaste. When you rinse first, you can brush after 
and all the good things, the fluoride, all the benefits of the toothpaste get to kind of sit and do their thing versus rinsing it all the way. Hmm. What is the top dental concern in children? Let's start with children first. In children, um, I'd say probably two things come to mind initially. Top dental concern is always cavities, right? Um, childhood cavities is the number one disease in children, actually. We don't think of it as a disease, but clinically and in the textbooks, it is, right? So that's the number one thing. So um, you want to, the biggest thing kind of with kids is one, helping them brush, because a lot of kids don't mm -hmm. know what they're doing, to be honest, they think it's fun and games. Um, but it's for real, because one day you're getting real teeth, so you need to develop good habits. So help your children brush, and also monitor what they're eating and drinking. Um, sugary things, especially leaving kids with bottles and just letting them go to town and sitting in a crib, that's gonna leave and, and keep things kind of in their mouths that could easily be rinsed out and could be healthier. So childhood cavities is a big thing. And I think a lot of parents um, just aren't sure when their children should be losing teeth, right? Mm -hmm. And how many teeth they're losing or what age. Um, some people are like, man, my, my son's still losing teeth. I'm like, yeah, you know, he's, he's about at that age. His last little bit of teeth he's gonna lose. So um, those, those are probably the biggest concerns or biggest things people come in with, right? What are these spots on my kid's teeth or a uh, back tooth is hurting because it has a large cavity in it or a tooth is hurting because it's on its way out. How do you recommend that, a, you know, an adult helps their child brush their teeth? What does that look like? You can break that So down. it looks different at different ages, right? Obviously, if you have a younger child, like an infant or a toddler, one or two, three years old, starting to get a few teeth in there. Um, the most simple, like the basic level, like one or two teeth, get a little washcloth or something like that and just wipe them clean at the end of the day, right? That's the simplest, most basic thing when you first get those teeth. You just want to get that cloth, you want to wet it, you just want to wipe the teeth off. Um, then as we start getting four, five, six, and we're getting teeth and entering, starting to get our, our grown-up teeth, our adult teeth, physically, you know, brush with them. Show them the movements. Get back there. Um, let them see you brush your teeth and, you know, go through all the steps. Uh, but actually physically holding their toothbrush and brushing their teeth is the best way you're going to be able to help your child until they kind of get a grip on what they're doing. I know a lot of kids that just put some toothbrush on the tooth, you know, and just and keep it moving. So show them that it takes a little bit more time. Show them some of the motions. Um, and, yeah, help them out, right? That's good. That's really good advice there. We're going to take a pause right here. Keep on sending your questions, all things about teeth. We'll be right back.